Hello, today we're going to be installing a Fury Tech brushless motor system in the SAX24 Rock Crawler. Alright, so there we got the Fury Tech Micro Komodo, the motor mount for it. We got the Fury Tech Lizard Pro V2, I think. And we got some trio drive shafts and a fresh new transmission. Take this all out of the bags and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so here's everything out of the bags. We got the Lizard V2, motor mount, and the Micro Komodo. We got these Trio drive shafts, metal, the transmission, and then Trio drive shafts came with some stickers. So that's cool. So, hey, let's take a look at this motor. So, inside we got this old dry, hot dry bag here. And we got the motor, so the action on this thing, right out of the box, is looking really good. It feels awesome. It's got a little tiny kink in it. I don't know if you can see that, but it pop, it like, it's not as smooth as it could, as it, as, it's not super smooth, like, it could be smoother, but it's very good, nonetheless. We got a little doll tooth pinion gear on there. Uh, this out of here. Box is out of here. Let's get this motor plates. This is just, I'm seeing this for the first time with you guys. Alright, box out here. Motor plate, looking really nice. Alright. Here we got the Lizard V2 ESC. That's gonna look real nice in the, in the it's gonna look real nice in the SCX24. Alright, we have some screws that came with it. Alright, let's get to putting this thing together. Alright, so this is my SCX24. It's a C10 body. It's not really stock at all. I've upgraded a lot on it. It's got new axles, new shock, bumpers, servo, motor, a lot of new stuff. Wheels. Overall, it's a pretty sick rig, so. We're gonna get to put in this. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take out this motor. We're going to take out these drive shafts. We're going to get in these two drive shafts and the new transmission. This built it up. All right, we got the transmission out of the car. So this motor is burnt out, so we're just going to get rid of this. And then this, the reason we got a new one of these is because this one has a broken screw. I can't get this out. And also this one is all messed up down here, the screw stripped everything out, so we're just going to replace it, new one, start fresh. Alright, we're going we're gonna to install the motor mount, or the, yeah, the motor mount on this trend, new transmission, and then we'll get it put into the car. I also took the wheels off just to add a little less clutch, which is always good. Alright, so we took off this part, this little cover, this little plate, and this spur gear, which we're going to put back in in a second. And also this motor mount has this little carbon fiber plate, which is pretty cool. So we're basically just going to take this, we're just going to have this part, and we're just going to put this, this is just going to go on there, right? Like that. Nice and easy. And I'm just going to screw this in real quick. Alright, so now we got the motor mount mounted up. We got the spur gear in there, you can see we've got the plate back on, and it turns very well. Very smooth, looks really sick. It's going to be awesome in the truck. Let's get the motor on it now. Alright, so we got the motor mount on here. It's real nice looking. This is going to be sick in the thing, in the truck. It's turning really well. See it turning this drive shaft right here. We also put the drive shaft on because we forgot to do that. And we're going to get this in the car. And I'll show you that when I'm done. Alright, so we've got the Komodo in there. It fits in very well. We had to cut this plate a little bit. We don't, I don't know where I'm going to put this yet, probably like right here or something. But it looks really great in there. It spins nicely, got clearance on all sides. Um, got it. We also got these dry shafts in, they work really great. We had to move this shock though, it was here. We had to put it here because it was going to get in the way because we had to cut out this part. But it looks really cool in there. I'm going to get the rest of this stuff hooked up and I'll come back when that's done. Alright, so we got the the motor all in there, we got the ESC and everything put together, so we put this 
Yeah, you see, plugs into channel 2 on the stock receiver. And we got the battery plugged into this part of the EEC. And then we got the motor plugged into this part of the EEC. So the way you turn it on is there's this little button. I don't know if you can see it right there where my thumb is. The little button, you press it. Turns on like that, nice bright light. Sorry if anyone didn't like that bright light. And then I'll show you the motor. Motor. Turn on the remote. That really helps me turn on the remote. Oh. Super slow. Look at how slow you can get it. This right here, on the axle, is turning. You can't even tell. And then you go really fast. And backwards. Really good. Really loving this. Alright, so we got the motor all in here. Everything's in here. We've ended up putting a piece of plastic from the packaging in there uh, to put the original ESC on uh, with a command strip. And we turn this sideways. We got the ESC right here next to the motor. Got the servo plugged in. And yeah, this was really easy. All you're going to need to do this is just the proper tools. This is an Enjora. This is a tool set from Enjora. It comes with these bits for this. And it'll work for every bolt on your car. I'll put a link to that in the description. Um, um, it's late now, so we're going to come back tomorrow and we're going to do a little test run. Alright, it's the next day. We've got the body on. Um, you check out these lights from here because they wouldn't reach here. You probably will take these out, but you might just leave them. It won't really change anything. And now we're going to go test it inside and outside. Alright, so here's the truck on. And I just want to first show you this, how slow this thing can creep over things. Look. You can see the motor in there turning. And it is just incredible. The amount of control you have with this thing. Look at this. It's just going to glide right up. It is absolutely amazing to see this in real life. I've never seen anything like this. I don't know if you can hear that. My motor is like beeping. I don't know if singing a song, but it's going so slow. You can like read the text as it's going by on the motor. That's just incredible to me. What a good rig this is. This car is going to be a beast. Okay, so we got the car here and we got this little hill obstacle thing that I made out of cardboard. We're just gonna watch him go over it and see how good he does with the control. I'm doing this one handed though. This, this is not that great. I'm going to this is the slow looking up. It's been all with that tire. What an amazing vehicle. Alright, so we got it outside, this little course they made. We're going to go up onto this log, across this little bridge. Another couple of bricks there, another bridge, another skinny bridge, another bridge, this little suspension bridge. Then you got some rock, and then here's some bricks, just kind of thrown out, and then you got a little piece of fire. Just watch this thing go over this stuff. Like that. Look at that, just getting right up there. I've never actually ridden this course before because I just made it a week ago but we didn't have the, this car with a running so I might need to change this up as we go. Yeah, I'm going to have to change that so we're just going to take this rock just a bit there. Alright, this is kind of like a testing the course and testing this rock all at once. Dang bumpers right in there. There we go. Thing. This 
think he's performing super well over these obstacles. No problem. Right on top there. Alright, we're gonna come over here. Look at that suspension just fly. So much. I can feel how much control I have with this vehicle. The, the slowness really helps because you have so much control over the vehicle. And it just does whatever you want it to do. Looks like if you need me. You can just lower gas. You can put a little more gas. And Tire, and then I'll be on uh, the top. It's pretty frozen this year, Tire. It, it is December, so it's a little cold in the morning. Uh, I'm just, this is not the car I call this obstacle. This is my fault because I have one hand, so. This isn't gonna leave well. So I'm driving it with one handed, so it might not be the best driver. And there it is, it makes it over the course. Makes it over the course absolutely fine. Alright, so I'm really happy with the way this vehicle turned out. I have high hope for what's to come with it. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. See you in the next one. Peace.